Hey, what's going on guys? It's Whittle. In the background right now, what you're watching is Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I'm really freaking happy to finally be playing this game, and I'm really happy to be uploading to my channel with this too, because honestly, this game is... The best word that describes what this game is, if you had to describe it in one word, would be fun. And this is the most fun in any Call of Duty launch I've had since MW3. And I mean, that's been like two years, two or three years, whatever. I mean, it's... This game is so fun. Uh, I mean, by this time, I've, I've only been playing this game for about almost two days, but by this time in Ghost, I was already getting annoyed, and all my friends were already starting to not like the game. And in this game, there is nothing I do not like about this game except for some connection issues. I mean, the, it lags sometimes where your bullets won't connect and you do die from that, but that's expected in COD now. I mean, that's what MW3 was like, and hey, that's one of my favorite Call of Duties, but as of right now, this game is so fun, but... Real quick, let me just explain to you what you're watching in the background. This is pretty much the first 24 hours I played. I was going to record my first gameplay and upload it, and I forgot to record. I was so excited to play this game. I came home, popped it in my PS4, and I forgot to record it. I went 20 and 5 my first game on Green Band. And uh, anyway, this gameplay you're watching is on Biolab. It's Domination, and I'm using the KF5 Gold with Silencer and Foregrip, which I highly recommend. Very, very good gun. And, um... Anyway, this gameplay is a nuclear slash DNA bomb fail. I died two off the nuclear and I think about four off the DNA bomb. Uh, this is I, I've gotten close to the DNA bomb twice now, um, and I probably could have got it. It's just you know you, you know how it is. You get so anxious to get it, you, you don't know when to stop pushing or pull back. You know, I just I got I got killed. You'll see it coming up, but you know it's this is still. I just want to give you guys a little taste of what I've been doing. You know, so this is gonna play this little uh, little clip here of the uh, nuclear DNA bomb fail and then I'm gonna merge in with another clip I got that I thought was pretty cool but anyway I just want to talk to you guys what I think about the game so far honestly like I said best word that describes it is fun I think all the guns are pretty much balanced the way they should be There's, I don't find any gun overpowered I've seen I've been using mostly like I've tried out most of the guns and most of the guns are really decent I mean there's no gun that's like total crap compared to another gun I mean some have disadvantages that other guns don't have but for the most part you can use all these guns effectively uh, for di different maps and different scenarios the kill streaks are pretty freaking good uh, some of them are kind of weak but you can upgrade them uh, they're not the best kill streaks but they're actually pretty freaking sick and actually if you do upgrade them and learn how to use them right they're actually really effective I like how you can actually upgrade the kill streaks in this too but the thing I like about this game as well is it's not kill streak dependent. Like, there's really good kill streaks, but um, to get them, you have to actually be really good to get these things because this game is actually pretty difficult. The health is actually pretty freaking high compared to any other Call of Duty, and uh, you have to have good shot placement. The hit detection is really sick. I, I mean, it actually makes it so you have to have good aim. Like, if this is the total opposite from Ghost. Like, in Ghost, you could just shoot someone twice in the ankle and they would die, but in this game, it takes more bullets in the feet than it would in the chest, and that's like, no other COD usually does that. Other CODs usually just say, okay, four or five shots anywhere, you're pretty much dead unless you're hitting them in the head or something like that, but in this game, if you're actually shooting someone in the feet, it's going to take way more bullets than if you were just shooting them in the chest or the head, so I mean, you learn that quick. But right here, guys, you're going to be seeing, this is where I'm on like a 25, about to get the nuclear, and I, uh, I, there's like 20 seconds left in this round, and I just keep pushing... But, but really guys, that's just a little summary of what I'm thinking of this game. I'm going to be uploading some full gameplay soon, so stay tuned for that stuff. Uh, I just want to give you guys a little taste of what I've been doing. Um, I highly recommend using this KF5 with silencer and grip. It's really good. And right there, you'll see he got me. I shot him up a couple times, but he got me. This next clip is sick, yo. This is, I picked up my friend Palkapine's Vectors. He was using the Kimbo Vectors, and I... I lay down a beat into these kids over here on the B flag. But anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for some more gameplay coming up soon, some more gameplay commentaries, live comms, all that cool stuff. I'm really excited to be bringing to you guys. Spread the word, guys, because I'm, I'm really excited to be doing this, guys. It's going to be fun. I'm going to bring you guys a lot of sick content, so stay tuned for that. As always, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like below if you enjoy. And as always, thanks for stopping by.